bit off. I'll just make sure he's in the middle. Make sure everything's still aligned. That's all fine. Alrighty. So, in the images I supplied, there's a second one you might have found that has like a blue skeleton in a green little box. That is the name of the vertices maps, vertex groups, sorry. So, this one here, you'll see in the image, points to left foot, left underscore foot, L left foot, whatever. So, we just select here, making sure we don't go above, and it selects all the parts of that. Click plus, and just type in the name of that map, L fo underscore foot, and double click, click assign a few times, and that is now assigned to that vertice map. Press H to hide it so that it never gets selected again, just to make sure. The next one above that, it's not bad to have a few overlapping, it just makes it a little bit more smooth during animation, so that's what I try to do as well. The next one is left, lower, foot. Same thing, assign and H to hide. And just keep on going on up. Now when assigning the right and left upper legs, just try and cut it off at the pelvis leg, so like this. Just cut it off in the midway section. Might go up, might go up to the left here a bit, but that's not a bad thing. Left upper leg, hide. And before you go any further, make sure you do the exact same on the other side. Right foot. Right lower leg. Excuse the key tapping. Yeah, the microphone's right next to it, and I'm sure it's annoying. Anyway, so next is the hips, you know, right hip, left hip. Try not to go too high, about there is the best way to do it. You, know, you don't want to take too much off the pelvis. Right hip. And left hip. The hips aren't as important as the pelvis and the lower torso, mid torsos are, but it's always good to make sure you just follow it perfectly just in case. So that was the pelvis, lower torso, and mid torso. Before continuing, we need to sort out everything else. So at this point, we have the chest. We can't get to the chest because the shoulders are overlapping with it. We don't want to take anything off that we don't need to. So generally, I'd resize his arms and hands just to make it look a little bit nicer and follow Sam's hands a little bit better. So we're just going to select that and press S. Make sure we didn't cause any tears in the model, which we did. So that's good. And just assign that to the left hand. And just do the exact same with the legs, but making sure you get every polygon. Or vertice, or whatever the hell you want to call it. The best way to do this assigning is to do it with the uh, the face selection. You can do it with vertex or uh, edge select, but I think faces is the easiest. Now you might be worried, oh, wouldn't selecting this be a bad idea? It really depends on how you want to do it. I don't mind joining the shoulder pads up with the upper arm. I think it looks nicer when it bends with the character's shoulder, but you can assign it to the right, left shoulder if you want to. It's purely your call. So, look at the upper arm. You'll see some, we got some overlap there, but since that's not in the zone, it's more in the uh, shoulder, I'm going to leave it alone. And we'll just scroll on over. And we'll do the same with the right hand. Right, the selection. Keep in mind, if you have a character with multiple limbs, like imagine Uggzan from the first encounter, the best thing to do is just assign their arms to a different part of the body. For example, Chaos from uh, Final Fantasy The City has four arms, and I just assigned his arms to the mid torso, and they just hang their limp. It's not a bad decision, it can really help out in the long run. Ok, 
go. So, we pretty much decapitated the crap out of him, but he's still good to go. We just need to assign shoulders now. Now, the part that's important here is to make sure you don't take too much off the chest and too much off the neck. So, what we're going to do here is this is going to go above where it could join, so right there. Select the parts that are attached. Now, don't be afraid if you think, oh, maybe I should attach that to a different body. If you think it should belong to a different burst group, go ahead and place it there. For example, as I'm doing this now, I'm seeing that some belong with the left upper arm. So I'm going to just change those into it now. Even though they're not attached, it could make it look ugly in the long run. So these here, I'm going to attach just because they're connected to the shoulder pad. And I want to assign them to something else. And just do the same over here. Sorry about this, just give me some slack. All right, right shoulder, I'll assign those two. So just making sure you get everything pitch perfect is very important. And now we can assign the chest. Alrighty. So the last two bones we have here are the head and the neck. Now the problem with this is, Zach has hair going down the back of his neck. If you have a character with long hair, before you start, make sure you go into edit mode and just assign the hair to the head at the very start and then hide it so that it never gets in your way. Zach's hair is pretty much out of the way here, so it's not a problem. So what we're going to do here is just select his neck manually. Usually I've been using the B tool, but since the hair is just so much in the way, I could hide it or I can just use the neck. I'm going to use the neck manually. Just do that first, get it out of the way. Shift clicking to uh, select more to go along. Yeah, so I'm just not going above a certain threshold. Making sure I stay within the limits of the uh, neck. Make sure you get both sides. Assign. Side. Now we missed some of his neck, but it shouldn't be a problem. And just select the head. Now you might be thinking, Jesus, where, where are my people going? Just press Alt H to bring him back. And you are done in Blender. That is all you need to do for this character. He's looking pretty snazzy. So make sure you in the description I've also included the, a link to a plugin by. Uh, I can't remember his name, I'll annotate it later. I can't remember his name, but he made a perfect plugin for Blender that allows you to import and export .amfs. AMFs are like the bee's knees of uh, Series 7. There's a mesh file that's read into Series after 3.5. You can use ob OBJs, but that's a bit more difficult sometimes, so I prefer to use AMFs. But you can use OBJs, just don't expect me to explain how to import them properly. So we're going to make sure we go into object mode. And press A to select all. You have to be in object mode when exporting with this uh, plugin. Just go to make sure you plugged it in. I'll leave a tutorial later on how to uh, create it. And just export it. And I'm just going to save me my Serious Santa player file as sexy Zach, because Zach is sexy. And you are done for this part of Blender. I'll put up a part two later on for uh, Series Editor 3.5, so thanks.